How's it going, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Bit of bat once again. Today, we're going to be unleashing the Black Ops 6 campaign. Let's play it, walk through whatever you would like to call it. First mission here is Bishop Takes Rook. Can't believe Livingstone's putting me and Harold together in the field again. Bit of while, Woods says this Saeed Alwa, Alwa, Alwi must be worth a migraine or three. Intercept Saeed, his convoy in Kuwait, and bring him back alive. Of course, this is a Call of Duty set in the 90s. Considering I grew up in the 90s, it should be pretty interesting to see how authentic or not um, the campaign actually is. We're just going to wait for the shaders to warm up here. We've obviously got the shader preloading as we are playing on PC. So we will be back momentarily once that has completed. All right, so we're back now. The shaders are warmed up and we're going to get right into this. Let's go. We are going to be doing it on the regular difficulty. No idea how hard or easy this year's Call of Duty is going to be. But here we go. Bit of a tasty intro there. Are you denying that? We have discussed what it already. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon, you sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you going to tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team, me, Harrow, and Case. <laughs> Allow he is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Lowry has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground. Target confirmed. Waiting on your go. Over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging it out. Here comes the traffic jam. I do want to say straight off the bat, the presentation is absolutely flawless. Uh, the graphics are 
Interestingly enough, quite a big step up on last year's Call of Duty, especially for the campaign. In my opinion, I think this looks pretty phenomenal. We just see how the new guns play out in the campaign. With the Black Ops games, I always feel they're a little bit more grey uh, and a little bit more sort of darker, uh, which I really like. Obviously, I don't promote smoking, but they do have the use of smoking, uh, bad languages, stuff like that. Which, obviously, I don't agree with anybody smoking in this day and age, as you know, it causes cancer and whatnot. But nevertheless, I think it really adds to the sort of realism aspect of when the game was set. And the backstory to a lot of these characters. Okay. Let's check the door. Whoa, chill out. So he's allow it. Okay. Stay calm. We not here to hurt you. CIA? We had a deal. Deal? Not with us. Where you headed? For oh, honor, you lie. Your man was getting out. Oh, man. Keep it that way, guys. Let me get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was Harrow, closed. Did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable made... That's what I thought. I've come to expect this from you, but not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary... Oh, I'm aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got... complicated. They've really stepped up on the facial animations this year. I feel they look very, very human. Very natural. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking their ex. And they've kind of gone back to this sort of action movie storytelling style of Call of Duty, which after the Modern Warfare 3 campaign is a breath of fresh air, in my opinion. I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Hey, let's start by softening them up. Test it. What the hell? So, <laughs> the bad boy grenades are back in this campaign. Bit of a throwback to Call of Duties of old. The majority of the time I used to die only to grenades back in the day on the older Call of Duty campaigns. We are going to have a look at what our number three does here. We have flash grenades, RCXD, and frags. Interesting. gonna have to bind obviously we've not set up our key binds which are like for my plates and whatnot 
that my armor plates are like on Q, allow me to interact on E. Melee on F, lethal tactical, looking good here. So they have brought back the use of plates in the campaign by the looks of it. The thing I the thing I'm wondering is does the XP from the campaign carry over to the multiplayer? We'll certainly be interested to see if that is the case this year. I know zombies kind of does. Um I do like that uniform unified or uniformed XP sort of sharing across the three modes i think it entices people to play the campaign a little bit more i thought we were getting in the truck Lot of grenades here. Very close to death here. Damn. Got to play that a little bit slower. And this is on regular difficulty. Holy moly. Let's have a look here. So we've got the XM4. Might try the RCXD here. I'm gonna play this section a little bit slower, I feel. back a little bit here just be a little bit slower I do like the new RCXD, the way it's movement and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Feels a lot better than previous years. Sadly, we didn't get a kill there with it, but nevertheless, I did want to try it out. Let's go, baby. Plot twist. Adler, damn. What on earth's he doing? Wait till Wood gets a load of this. God damn, Ross with Adler. CIA traitor. You've been on the run for 10 months? Marshall. Woods' his new project. You can ease up, son. I'm all done here. Jane. You just killed a high-value target in cold blood and put our national security at risk. Hello, we can't fall into the Pantheon's hands. Or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him. Bishop takes Brooke. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Okay, plot twist, let's go.
Nice. Oh no, they used uh Bless. Damn. Ooh. What? How are we supposed to take it out if he's using flares? All right, here we go again. Oh, we're not here yet. Oh, there we go. I think. Have we done it? Bullseye, baby. Woo! No visible threats in the airspace. We're clear. Not a face to music on allow. Good luck. Anything else to add? Sir. Despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama, the man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. OK, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Miss Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over. Mr. Woods, that makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed. The Black Ops series at this point has covered such a wild uh, sort of timeline. It's kind of crazy to see all the characters at the different stages of the careers and stuff. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. Special details, very, very high quality. <laughs> Are you admiring your own work? Can't believe you kept it. Not all reminders need to be scars. <clears throat> Why are we here, Harrow? Because you know something? Care to tell me what it is you're up to? I mean, the kids just need some time away. You know, take a little trip. Reflect a little. Look, I can cover your asses on my end best I can. But if things go sideways again, you're on your own. Copy that. Oh, you one. One? Yeah, try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mission one is now complete in black ops 6 i hope you've enjoyed ago, today's video and stay tuned we will be covering the entire game entire including zombies multiplayer loadouts optimization road. sound all sorts of little bits and bats so if that does indeed interest you as always comment like subscribe and send up in the comments let me know what you thought of today's video and i'll see you guys for part two peace